Really guilty, huh? Yeah, well, I was feeling a bit guilty. Huh? This is all taking so long, you know, and it's yes. partly my fault. Yeah, no argument with me on that. Please, don't well, agree with me. Please I, don't agree with when me. When you're right, when you're right, you're right. I must think up new and better ways to make you feel guilty. You do that, because the next time it will be egg foo young. I hate that. I know you do. But look, you, this was your fault. You, you, should, you should have let me in on that investigation you're conducting with Edge. I know. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, am I forgiven? How many lobsters you get? Two. Forgiven. Do, don't let it happen again. I promise I won't. Mm. Let's uh, get into some of this. God knows there's tons of it. Mm. See, I knew plying you with all this stuff to get you out of your lousy mood. Oh, speaking of lousy moods, did you, uh, did you cash, uh, catch uh, Schlepp's broadcast tonight? The master of innuendo, um, inference and dogma is back yeah. in business. Where does he get his information from? Beats me. I mean, how does he know you're not going to find a Jerome? I mean, he, he doesn't know you're not going to find an heir to the estate. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe he knows something I don't. I mean, I'm only looking for one Jerome. Any Jerome will do. You might get what you wish for. Yeah? You know, almost be worth it to get rid of this diamond mess. Well, I'm certainly glad you came round to my way of thinking. <laughs> we, 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 all right, all right, yes, you're right. Yeah, you know, with Broxton snooping around, it seemed like the logical way to go. But don't, don't ever tell me I told you so. And uh, is that the soy sauce? Yeah. Thank you. You kept saying I was crazy. I wasn't crazy. Mm, not crazy. Obsessive, not crazy. Well, what are you then? Bugged. A chef? Hmm. Uh, punk like that comes from the territory. Oh, I know. What do you know? Well, it's Cheryl, right? No. Yes, of course it is. No. Well, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Well, all right. Now, I'll tell you, only because you sprung for the lobster. <laughs> you know, this whole, this whole business about, you know, the stuff from her and Julian and... And you? That's been... It's been the less tasteful aspect of this whole case. Yeah. Well, one way or the other, tomorrow this will all be over, hopefully. And yet again, we can go back to getting on with our lives. Gosh. Seem to be doing an awful lot of that lately. We're going to keep on doing it till we get it right. In the meantime, let's <laughs> change the subject because it's messing up my appetite. Mm, yes, go ahead. Um, so, how how's um, Frisco been since you spoke with him last? Door? Well, I don't know. I mean, I hope that he took some of my advice. You know, he mm -hmm. has to ease up on this woman, or else Sean's going to get into an awful lot of trouble. You never know. Maybe, maybe this time, cool heads will prevail. Frisco. Oh. Yeah. I guess it's the first time for everything. I mean, I don't know what all the fuss is about. You know, I've met this woman, this Rita woman, mm -hmm. and she seems to be all right. I mean, on the mm -hmm. surface, yeah. she seems to be all right. Yeah. Right. She's got very nice hair. Well, oh, that's a start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I am sorry, Mrs. Quartermain, but uh, Mr. Broxton should be back any minute now. Oh. I'm sure he'll want to meet with you. Oh, I'm sure. Well, um, I'll just wait. Uh, could I have some coffee, perhaps? Uh, of course. Oh, uh, excuse me. Could you make that naturally decaffeinated tea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure. to see you too, Mr. Broxton. What a coincidence this is. I was going to call you. Really, were you? Uh, what about? Well, to see if you might be interested in retaining my services. Oh, well, I don't see why, Mr. Broxton. You know, we Quartermains, we have all the lawyers we can possibly use, and then some. Then why are you here? Uh, well, I just thought it might be you nice to You don't need to, be... to tell me. See, I know. 
It's the diamonds, isn't it? You're worried about some long-lost Jerome popping up to claim them, aren't you? Oh, of course not. That's so silly. I mean, I am richer than my wildest dreams, so why would I need all the... Ninety perfect diamonds? Why, they're the stuff the dreams are made of. I can't blame you worrying. I'm wondering if you'll ever actually get them. It'd be a pity, too. Because you came so close to only have someone sneak up and snatch away your dreams. I'd hate to see that happen. Uh, well, um, yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that I have any control over that. You know, if, if there is a Jerome heir. Well, as the attorney for the Jerome estate, uh, I should know where all the bones are buried, so to speak. So, if there were an heir, I'd be the guy who'd know about him. About him? Him? Or her, as the case may be. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, um, so, is there an heir? That's for me to know, and you to pay for. And, of course, the uh, higher the payment, even if one does exist, the less likely he is to be found. Uh, Mr. Broxton, I believe that sounds like blackmail. No. No, it's extortion, actually. If I were coercing some money out of you illegally, which I'm not, I'm simply making you a, a, a business proposition. Oh, I see, a business. Okay. Let's see, what are your terms? Now, they can be worked out later. I'd just be interested if you're interested. <laughs> I think you know I'm interested. Good. I'll call you then. <laughs> Good. I'll be waiting. Good day, Mr. Roxton. Good day, Miss Quarterman. Roxton, hi. Bobby, what brings you down here? Well, one of my prospective parents has a record, so I came down hoping I could get a copy. Well, give us the number and I'll see what I can do. Oh, no, that's all right. That's right. I don't want to bother you about it. I'll put in a request through the agency. Well, anything I can help you with, just to let me know. Thanks. Did you, uh, by any chance, see uh, Shep's broadcast? Oh, I try never to miss it. <laughs> Did those diamonds really belong to Victor Jerome? That's not been proven yet. Is that what that lawyer... Broxton? Uh, yeah, Broxton. Is that what Broxton was here for? Well, so far, he's, he's given us nothing. Mm -hmm. I was hoping he could at least identify the number, but... Number? What number? One inside the diamond pouch. You, you might as well look at it, too. Yeah. C12104S. Yeah. My feelings are that this is the key to everything. Anyway, tomorrow we'll see. In 24 hours, it's going to be all over for everyone. You'll see. 